<laughs> yes, my name is Gordon Harris. Used to say, uh, they used to call me Gordy back in the days. Uh, but I like to say, uh, like I was just saying before, I haven't done any playing of this nature uh, since like 2007. So uh, we'll see what happens. It's always fun. I mean, I get to do a little jamming in the room. But, uh, I'll just say that I started out playing, playing the guitar back in the 60s. I needed a way to flunk out of school and learning how to play guitar was excellent, excellent way to do it. So uh, my first guitar I bought was a uh, classical guitar. I paid $15 for it. Uh, I had a roommate in college and he, he I think he was kind of affluent because he had a guitar for at home in Connecticut and he had one to leave at school when he came back back and forth. And after the school year was done, he was done with the guitar. So I bought it for $15. Somewhere along the way, I uh, I heard some people play a Lead Belly, an album, a Lead Belly album. And it was just, uh, it just blew me away. And I had to go out and buy a 12 string guitar. Uh, the cheapest one I could find, of course, back in those days. So, uh, I guess maybe I'll start off and play a Lead Belly song. Except not this one. started out with that, but somewhere along the way, I met uh, my buddy Pete. We met at a party or something. Uh, we were fledgling, fledgling players. I was trying to learn how to play the guitar. He was trying to learn how to play the harmonica. And uh, so we got together, actually, after a while, and we formed what we called a little band. We called ourselves the Basic Blues Band, because you fig we figured that you couldn't get much more basic than a guitar and harmonica. And we actually had hats <laughs> that we had. And, uh, but we, like I said, we didn't get to play much anymore because he lives in Boston. I live down here. One day we're going to get it together. Uh, let's see. So, um, 
I learned um, the first stuff I learned is my phone ringing. That's always uh, good. Um, I learned to play some, some basic picking styles. Uh, some uh, almost like almost like folk music because when we uh, back in the day uh, when we were learning. Uh, Everybody walked around with a guitar. A lot of people. I mean, they could play from. There was all kind of different uh, degrees of a uh, player, you know, from rudimentary, basic like me, up to uh, there's some really, some really fantastic players that I knew back in the day. But people would walk around with guitars. You 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 don't know if you go to somebody's house and a, a hootenanny might break out, you know. And it was like, it was really pretty cool, you know. But I learned how to finger pick just. Uh, uh, some of that influence was was uh, like Dave Van Rock was a tremendous collector of music uh, of, of all kinds of uh, different styles. And uh, but I, some of his songs was songs that I've learned how to play. But also um, they discovered John Hurt, and uh, he had he was just such a a basic picking style. It's just uh, just simplicity in itself, you know. Me, I'm I, my my style is pretty simple. I mostly just play some chords here and there, you know, and just string it together. But uh, John Hurt was uh, loved his music. You know? But here's one of his tunes. We'll get it going here in a minute. A noble engineer told his firemen were not to have no fear. All I need is my water and my coal. Look out your window, see the drive wheel. Now, Casey Jones, he was driving that train. Fireman John, save your head. Now Casey's wife, when she heard that he was sitting down on her bedside, she was lacing her shoes. When she heard that her husband was dead, went on back uptown to Rarag and Red. Now children, children, Put on your hats. They said, Mama, now, Mama, well, what do you mean by that? Children, oh, children, put your hats up on your head. Go on up town and see your daddy dead. Now, one last thing, Casey said, just before he died, he said, One last road where well, Lord I want to ride. Now one more last thing, Casey said just before he died. He said, fix that road, well, so the bumps can ride. If they ride, let them ride out of the ride. Put their faith and hope in the hands of God. Yeah, all right. Uh, bring me back down memory lane here. Uh, let me see. I got this whole list over here. Of, uh, Sounds stuff. good from here, man. Well, let's see. Let's see. Where, where do we get up to? We got up to John Hurd and finger picking. Um, how about how about another Lead Belly tune? This oops. This one is. This one's. Uh, I'll try it, but it's uh, pretty topical. It may be good. Uh, it may be good for now, but this is certainly one I haven't played for a long time. Oh, 
I'll tell you about the song first. Um, in 1939, uh, Lead Belly was brought to brought to uh, Washington D.C. to make some recordings for the Library of Congress, and him and his wife couldn't find anywhere to stay. Uh, of course, it was a segregated hotel, so they couldn't stay there. They tried to go out and eat, and they had uh, they had mixed race a mixed race group, so they couldn't go in the white restaurant to eat. They couldn't go in the black restaurant to eat. I mean, it was a mess everywhere he went, and he was he was pretty upset about it. So he wrote this song. anywhere like he does or he did uh, I've kind of like more or less paraphrased some of the music that he uh, that he um, that he wrote there's a lot of people who can duplicate his style pretty faithfully uh, and that and that's that's good but uh I always sort of hear hear things in a different way or something so this is one of, one of his songs. Well, I feel just like a weirdo. 
said, I got come this far. I don't find no fault in I feel just like the going on. And I seem to go right on. Singing jazz, go right on. I said, I don't come this far. I don't find no fault in I feel just like the going on. And I'm all just to go right on. Mm -hmm. I said, I had come this far. I don't find no fault in her. Yes, I feel just like going on. I feel just like going on. But I haven't come this far. I don't find no fault. And I feel just like going on. Sweet. Hey, I think we got uh, we got time for probably about two more songs here. Uh, wow, the time flies. Yeah, time is um, fine. So I didn't okay. want you to Let me see, uh, forget about that baritone guitar you got there. I was going to say, all right, well, let's do that. I like that. Okay, this is, uh, these people, I guess I run my mouth too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Leroy Carr, well, Scrapper Blackwell became a real... Leroy Carr and Scrapper Blackwell, I fell in love with them for a while still. Now this song here, the Midnight Hour Blues, uh, somebody told me they played it in A, I'm not sure. But anyway, I play it this way. In the wee midnight hour, long about the break of day, wee midnight hour, long about the break of day. Running 
back in days of long ago. And the one I love, I don't see her anymore. I've been so worried, didn't know what to do. I think we got time for one more. One more. Okay, here's an old standard. And, uh, and uh, See how the rest of the show is. All right. Thank you Thanks very much, Gordon. Exactly. 